In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my inexpensive trellises and yard art uh, and some other knickknacks that are in the garden. Here I have a ladder that I spray painted that somebody left at my house. And I asked them if they wanted it back. They said no. So that became a trellis. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes the trees become a trellis. And I have to I have to handle that one later. Over here, you'll see a piece of lattice, a lattice panel uh, that was left over from some work done on the house. So I just hung it with two shepherd hooks. Okay, so literally two shepherd hooks, put them in the ground, hung the lattice on there, and the vine just took over. Now this, I'm not sure if you would consider that a trellis or a piece of yard art, but I made that from some scrap wood that I had left over from a project done on the house. It's just like two pieces of large board. You can see over here. I just uh, put two pieces of large board and then I just screwed in some random things that I found left over. And I put a little butterfly house in there, but to be honest with you, my experience, it's the butterfly house doesn't really get used, but it looks cute. There I have a, um, you know, something, one of my first, uh, you know, purchased trellises. It's just a, what do they call them? An obelisk, obelisk, obelisk. So over here is another one of my creative, I call them Sanford and Son jobs. This was actually a large stand-up mirror that I had in my house and the mirror broke. So I removed the mirror and I decided to put the frame outside and I attached some inexpensive trellis to it. We'll see how that does. This started off to be a large, um, like Gothic style metal trellis. And as the uh, Dutchman's pipe vine took off, I ended up putting some vinyl lattice over it and then the birds kept getting in it so I you know then I started putting stuff like this on there this is um uh, vinyl uh, yard fencing it's pretty inexpensive and I put that up around there just to try to keep the birds out it keeps them out a little bit but I, I have to do some more things this is all work in progress so now we'll go over here Okay, this little white thing, just in case you're curious, <gasps> this is uh, kind of like my temporary um, little monarch pens. And look, one of my monarchs, it just hatched. I was looking at this 20 minutes ago, wondering when it was, when that monarch was going to come out. He just came out and I put a plant in there just so he'd have some nectar. There's another chrysalis down there. Hi, monarch. Hey there. Yeah. Okay, so over here is a chair that I picked up off uh, the side of the street on trash day one day and I spray painted it red and yellow and put it in the garden. I had a plant sitting on it for a while. But real quickly, <clears throat> one of my best friends in the garden are zip ties. Uh, most people know what zip ties are. Um, the cops use them a lot when they arrest people now <laughs> as, as handcuffs. But you can buy these zip ties anywhere they're, they come in all colors. If you're trying to find green ones, I suggest go to the garden section. All colors and sizes. And if you find yourself having to secure something onto like a thick post and you don't have a, you don't have a zip tie that's long enough, I attach two of them that way. So that's how I get around that. This one is just a little, you know, a little thing I made with some tomato steaks and I just zip tied a small trellis to it. One of my most exciting discoveries recently are these, um, these old, uh, well not old because I know a lot of people buy them, but this is actually from a closet. Uh, you know, these are closet racks, not uh, shelves and for hangers, okay? And so I zip tied these and I found out that this is actually great because the birds can't get in. So when I can afford it, I'm going to get like four 10 foot pieces and make a really tall trellis over there for the, for the passion vine. Here is an old shelf. 
I think I picked this up for $10 at a garage sale many years ago, used it in the house. And then I just spray painted it and put some, you know, put some um, of that uh, vinyl yard fencing on it just because when this vine starts to take off, I want it to have something to hold on to. Here's another roadside goodie. I picked up a, um, a headboard that someone was throwing away. I was like, well, it's pretty. I didn't know how to stand it up. And then uh, I just, I realized I can just use um, little vinyl fencing yard stakes, which is actually what's over here. These stakes right here, which you can, uh, you know, you can affix the uh, vinyl fencing. You can affix this vinyl fencing. To these yard stakes I'm not using it properly right now <laughs> um, but I actually just put two of these in the ground and then I put the headboard on them and it's holding up quite nicely okay why is this one covered because I don't have a, a pen going on right now and so there's another chrysalis just letting you know and so that's you know that's kind of what I'm doing oh and like right here for a planter box these are um, inexpensive wood boxes that you can get at some of like the local wood uh, wood furniture stores. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I turned it into a planter. That's an avocado plant in there. So you don't have to spend a whole lot of money um, to get your, your garden going. And actually, you know, I actually kind of like the way a lot of this stuff looks. I guess if you get enough of these random things in there, it actually kind of looks pretty cool, my opinion. So now I just want to mention the bird bath. <laughs> uh, in the spirit of saving money, I originally had this casserole dish sitting on a planter that was turned upside down. And for Christmas, my ex-husband was so nice to get me an actual bird bath. Okay, so that's the base. And let me show you, the top is actually over here on the ground, which I'm using it for, you know, butterflies if they need some water. Why did I take the top off? Well, it was, when I got it, I set it up and I removed the casserole dish and the birds would not use it. I mean, I, I sat out here for almost a week and watched and they would not use the new bird bath. So I put the casserole dish on the base and now they're back to using the bird bath for, for water and bathing. <laughs> so I guess birds don't like change. Uh, that's, that's what I've learned. Anyway, I hope this helps and I hope that uh, if you have started a garden or you, you are an active gardener that you try thinking outside the box and just kind of gets creative with some of this stuff. Thank you.